Help! Help! Hey, Bubbles, do you hear that? What do you mean? I don't hear anything. I think I hear someone crying out for help. I think you're hearing things again. Maybe you should get your hearing checked, because I don't hear... Help! Help! Oh, wait! I do hear something. Come on, Bubbles, let's go. Oh my, do you see that? I think it's Sheldon. What is that around his foot? I've never seen anything like that around here before. Me neither, Bubbles. Don't worry, Sheldon, we're coming. Whoa, thanks guys. That feels much better. What was that thingamabob in my nose? Well, Sheldon, I've heard humans call that a plastic straw. I think they use it to drink water and other things they have on land. I suppose it came from that inlet right there. Wow, this could be a big problem for other animals in the ocean. Sheldon, did you eat any of the plastic? No, at first I wanted to eat it because I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it might be something tasty, but then I realized it wasn't. Then I got tangled up in it. We should really do something about this so other animals don't get hurt. That's right, Bubbles. That's why I'm going to swim upstream and see if I can figure out the cause of this plastic. I don't want what happened to Sheldon to happen to any other animals in the sea. Thanks, Pearl, but be careful. You have no idea what types of mysterious objects might be found in that river. Come on, Bubbles. Let's see if we can figure out where this plastic is coming from and how to help save our friends. Okay, but how will swimming up this river help us? That's a great question. Did you know that all rivers and streams lead back into the ocean? Even snow from the highest mountain eventually ends up in the ocean after it melts. Everything that comes from the land ends up in our waterways. I bet this plastic is floating in from somewhere upriver. Hey Pearl, I didn't know jellies swam this far upriver. Bubbles, don't touch those. That's not a jelly, that's a plastic bag. Oh no, that was a close call. Thanks for telling me, Pearl. Now I understand how Sheldon was confused. They look so similar. Now do you see why we must help? Other animals might think the same thing you did. We are seeing plastic in the river, but I'm still not sure about where it's coming from. I don't think the plastic is coming from inside the river, but outside on the land. I think we should go up to the top of the water and look out. Oh, that's a great idea, Pearl. Hey, I see some people over by the edge of the river. But wait, I think... I think they're using plastic. They have plastic bags and bottles too. Look at that one. What is he doing? Did he just leave the bottles on the ground and walk away? Why would they leave it like that? Humans must be the reason why all this plastic is here. Don't they know it hurts us? Why don't they care? Maybe some people do care. I thought I saw people up there doing something different. Oh, look! Look at what those people have. Oh, that will keep a lot of plastic bottles from being tossed out and ending up in our home. And look what else they are using. Bags made from cloth, not plastic. No need to worry about plastic bags being mistaken for jellies if they're not being used in the first place. Oh, Bubbles! They are even encouraging other people to not use plastic straws. That is wonderful. Not using a straw really can save a sea turtle. Sheldon would agree with you. And he will be so happy to hear all the amazing things people are doing to help. You're right, Bubbles. What if more people said no to plastic bags, bottles, and straws? What if we all work together to remove the plastic pollution from in and around the water? If we all did our own small part, that would lead to big impacts on the ocean. The ocean is in our hands. 
it is up to all of us to protect it. Let's go see if others want to help. We can work together to make a difference.